Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Tooth. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2. It is 2 in the morning on Thursday uh, in the morning, and this is the Gallus J. I just lucked out and dropped it on a single spin and figured it would be a good thing to show off. So, it is interesting. Uh, this is my first and so far only round with it, and I think it's got a lot of pr uh, potential. Um, first thing, it's a 500 point general with a decent round of skills, dodge roll, forced injectors, melee combo controller, maneuver armor, among others. Um, and what it presents as generally, just it, at first blush, is better Marasai. It has an EPAC beam rifle like the Marasai. It has a melee weapon that causes heavy stagger like the Marasai. It also, on top of those things, it also still has, you know, two beam saber swings. On top of those things, it uh, also has a goof style. It's lifted as a missile launcher. It is, in practice, a goof style uh, set of uh, finger vulcans. And a couple of missile launchers besides. So, it has a lot going for it. Of course, what it doesn't, uh, what the Marasai has that this doesn't is uh, the Fadayan Rifle, but I don't have that, so functionally for me, the two are pretty similar. That G-Line Assault Armor uh, started its lunge way too early, really, really easy uh, to uh, take down, and that is a kill. As you can see, it's relatively fast, and like I said, it hits fairly hard, so it doesn't have a lot of ranged mod. It's mostly melee-oriented, so... I don't end up using it that way because it's mostly melee oriented, but also again has a ton of ranged weapons. So, let's see, tagged a, uh, that Umulate and Gelga uh, with one of my missiles, but it's going to use uh, it's going to be the fingers that uh, get it done. That sounds wrong. It is late and I am tired. Um, but yeah, it is. Uh, it is. I. I make a couple of good kills with those uh, Finger Vulcans, I do believe, this being another one. Nope, ran out of ammo. But yeah, the the the, the, the guns are really... It has a lot of good ranged weapons. Again, just not a lot of power to go with them. But yeah, it is, it is pretty good so far. And yeah, I saw our support needed help, so I went running off. I, I cannot be the one who supports the support, but I can be the one who supports the person supporting the, the support. And now let's try that big punch. Missed with it. It has a little bit of range, not a lot. I think I got stunned by one of my own teammates as I was trying to kill that Mark II, but it doesn't matter too much as long as we get it killed. Managed to backdash right out of its uh, downswing, and now I can help hopefully kill this thing. And... Okay, yeah. Just gotta wait for the iframes as always. That person, okay, running away. I managed to land a, a beam rifle shot in amidst all of the other enemies, or allies actually. Uh, missed that beam rifle shot. I am about to be out of feet. I have 600 health, but again, I have a beam rifle and I have Vulcans. So again, they're functionally Vulcans, whether uh, even though they're supposed to be, I think, missile launchers. Okay, yep, that's that's it. And now I am going to go back to base and do some repairing, because we've got a decent lead. About an 1,800 point lead, and I am utterly useless with this level of health and this lack of feet. So, got to get some repairs. They Since I'm right here by the base, they will be faster if I get them here. So, I'm, I'm not... I, at the time, I wasn't sure how much I should do, but I saw somebody there going one-on-one -on -one with an enemy, and... and I had four bars of feet, which is enough to do some forced injector maneuvering, and yeah, it turns out it was, the situation was even more dire than I thought, so yeah, it's a good time for me to be uh, working on this. Landed some missiles, broke a shield, using the Vulcan some more, and beam rifles recharging. Might be a good time to use some of my other missiles, but nope, right now just going for damage here with these. And landed the big punch which means I can land a couple of melee hits and get the kill. Yeah, so that is the big punch. The The downswing on that is very much like the Ashimar's uh, uh, Haymaker. It is. It has a lot of range, it's hard to target, but it is really good. I think I just got countered to death trying to fight that Gelgug, but not exactly sure. 
Yep, I think that is what happened though, but Gelgud didn't live very long for, uh, for the privilege of taking me out. I think that's my only death this round, which is, okay, well, it's my only mobile suit loss this round. I am about to die again because somebody's trying to take this point, and I'd like to stop them. So, I'm right here. I should have stayed in that corner. I should have continued to stay in this corner. But, yeah, the person... Now, this, I think, is just a little bit unfair. They come around the corner, I miss with the knife, I roll back, I hit them with the bazooka, but they roll somehow, and I'm on the ground, and all they have to do is sit here and wait for me to halfway stand up, and I get killed. That just seems unfair entirely. So... We lose that waypoint. We've still got a good lead, so not a lot of uh, not a lot of loss there, but it was irritating. But I think, yeah, I'm just gonna get my mobile suit uh, though and take uh, off and back everybody up because support fire might be good, but I think it's probably better if I just get back in the fight so we can keep our lead. So that's what I'm gonna do. Number six is our raid. They're a little bit separated from the rest of the group. That's not an infrequent thing. And can't say anything about this specific raid, just raids in general. And that's the Yuma Gelgug instead. Tried to stun it, did not get a chance to. There is a Galbaldi Beta, I believe, hassling one of us. And I landed the big punch. I landed the melee. It is on the ground. The Gallus J uses Gelgug Marine melee pattern, also Gelgug Jaeger pattern, so uh, of course Federation Beam Sabers are top right to bottom left. Uh, Xeon Gelgug Marine type Beam Saber does the opposite on its downswing, so it's that's a little bit hard to uh, a little bit hard to uh, target with people with shields. You can kind of get around shields with Federation uh, stuff, but. Yeah, so, managed to tackle that... Okay, I did die again, I forgot. But, uh, managed to tackle that assault armor again. And di uh, did some okay damage to it. Our Zadok seems to be dealing with the assault armor now, and the Mark II, I think, is helping, just from the look of things. And we are... They are catching up to us, but we're, we are managing to maintain a lead of about 2,000 points, and that's not bad. And almost there, five more seconds, and let's see... Getting back in there, and there's somebody over there I can probably go for. Or I can move up a little bit because I think that uh, person's probably going to be dead by the time I get there. Tried to shoot them, hit the Zagok, made a few mistakes. There's somebody behind us in 20-some seconds. Yeah, I sent the sorry because I'm pretty sure I did stop our Zagok by accident. And there is the Galbaldi. I missed it with that. I'm going to make the big swing. I accidentally, I was trying to downswing and I hit boost instead, but they walked in my swing. 3,600 on the big melee downswing. I have all the, uh, I have all the melee mod on this I can get. So, yeah, it's not bad damage, and the round is over, which is good, because another second and I've been dead again. But, I don't think I did too badly considering, so, yeah, it's, it's an interesting mobile suit. I, I think I want to use it some more, maybe hopefully get some more practice with it, but it's it's fun, and it's an interesting one, so yeah, it's it's good to have in the game, and we are now into Double Zeta stuff, so that is good. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And if I'm not too unconscious to remember to do it when I start rendering this, here to close off is an image of my part layout for it.